one one He said one whole He said one able to break the seal And open the scroll The Lion of Jesus The Lion of Jesus Who conquered the grave He stayed in his root And the Lamb who died To rest on the slave bless the Lord for such a special moment of time as we dig deeper in the incense of worship. Again before you is your dear friend and the minister Humphrey Mokisa from Prayer Palace Christian Center in Chihuye, Kampala, the capital city of Uganda, East Africa, the region of Africa. So we honor and glorify God for such a special moment of time as we dig deeper in worship. Prayer Palace is pastored by Dr. Bishop Rivers and Sister Salo, our spiritual father and our dear mentor. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Just like we always do it on the moment of worship, uh, we always soak ourselves deeper in worship. Hallelujah as we read our word. Remember our worship, worship is contextual, is spiritual. Hallelujah. Is scriptural and also contextual, hallelujah. Because the Bible says in John 4 24 that God is seeking for the people who can worship Him in spirit and also in truth. Truth means the word of God, that means you need to absorb the word of God and also in spirit. That means we need to know what we are worshiping, we need to fall in actually, we need to run according to the will of God in our worship, hallelujah and a hallelujah. As we use the word, not only basing on our own wisdom or intellect, but using the word of God, as we soak our souls deeper in worship, in spirit, and in truth. Hallelujah. Why do we need the spirit in worship? Because the Bible says when you read 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19, uh, you're going to rush there so fast. I'd like to thank... Uh, and also appreciate my dear friends have been sharing, commenting on my YouTube platform together. Also on my Facebook page, my Lord richly bless you. We have been always sharing, commenting, liking, uh, inviting others. My Lord richly bless you, those who have subscribed. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Uh, the Bible says when read 1 Corinthians chapter 6, and verse 19. Today's version I'm reading is KJV. That is King James's version. That's the version I'm reading for today. The Bible says, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and you are not your own. Hallelujah. Remember, the Bible says that we are the temple of the of, of God and the Holy Spirit dwells in us. Hallelujah. That means that we do not operate or we do not act out of the Spirit of God. So long as you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior, you receive the Holy Spirit. He dwells in you. He reigns in you and will never leave you. Just know that. Uh, because we are not in the Old Testament where the Spirit just came upon the people, but as we are in the New Testament, we have the Holy Spirit on our inside. Hallelujah. And it's the one who drives us in worship. It's the one who soaks us in the presence of God. The Bible says, uh, well, let's also go to John chapter 14 from verse 15. The Bible says, if you have a right there, the Bible says that if you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father and he shall give you another help, comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, but it sees in him not. 
may you not know with him but you know him for he works with you and shall be in you verse 18 i will not leave you comfortless i will come to you hallelujah that means when jesus the promise that he left to his disciples was the promise of the holy spirit that's not going to leave them comfortless but to send them his holy spirit that is the helper who is helping us that means he's always there to comfort us he is always there to help us in all things and jesus says that to remind us of everything that is said to us he said that to remind you of all my sayings hallelujah he's always there to instruct us he's always there to teach us by the way of the lord and he's always there to help us even in our worship as worshipers hallelujah and hallelujah remember i said that you can only receive the holy spirit uh, if you accept jesus christ as your lord and your personal savior that means he will indwell you and he will never leave you he will never desert you hallelujah and hallelujah um, uh, uh, if you want to accept jesus christ as your lord and your personal savior as the bible says in john 12 the day that accepted him he gave them the right to become the children of the most high god they that believed in him and the bible says in romans 10 9 and, uh, and 10 the bible says that the man believeth with his heart to receive the gift of righteousness and he confesses with his mouth to receive the gift of salvation today you can accept jesus christ as your lord and your personal savior and you also partake of this gift of the holy spirit to operate in you to enable you to help you to comfort you to make you overcome in the, the times of trouble in the testing times in the name of jesus christ you can open up your heart right now and you accept it as you confess with me say father from today i open up my heart accepting jesus christ as my lord and my personal savior from today i confess with my mouth that i am born again now erase my names from the book of the dead and write name in the book of the living father today as i've accepted you now i surely know and understand that i am your child now having confessed let me pray for you father in the name of jesus christ i dedicate the gentleman that lady that god has accepted you as her lord and a personal savior from today i pray for her that she may add advance in divine wisdom i pray for spiritual direction in all her life in the name of jesus christ Father, I pray for her that she may be natured and also grow spiritually in the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Holy Spirit, may you endure that person that she may be natured spiritually, that she may add a mass in spiritual wisdom, that she may grow in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, in wisdom and all the spiritual aspects in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I pray for protection, for peace. I pray for joy in the Holy Ghost. If you are sick, I pray for healing in your body. I pray for your businesses that may add advance in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord connect you in all aspects of your life, horizontally and also vertically, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I pray from today that you may overcome all the days of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for enabling that person. Thank you for the new life in her in the name of jesus christ thank you father bye bye see you next time on a moment of worship we meet again